Hi everybody, I'm Fiona and it is the very last week for Archerfield Drift Park this week. Uh, Thursday and Saturday, the last two events and that's it, it's all over. Uh, I am booked in to take the 350Z, the Bolt-On Z, to the very last event for the final send-off. I am excited towards that but there are a few things I want to do. I've got some um, arms to go into the rear of the Z, uh, they're GK Tech arms and uh, you know it's, it's nothing out of the ordinary, they're just adjustable arms and obviously that will allow me to organise um, having the rear end adjusted appropriately. Unfortunately the coil overs in this are not actually a true coil over which means that I can't actually install all the arms that I have, uh, I need to get one of those uh, conversion kits, I guess. I've heard that they exist to convert my coilovers to a proper coilover. We got one and two adjustable arms in the rear. Not a massive job, but just a bit of mucking around. Getting bolts done and undone. I've had to take the uh, the sway bar mount off just to get access, which is still off at the moment because I've still got to do the other side. Just on the other side, these are the uh, pair of arms that I'm replacing. As you can see, the GK Tech fully adjustable versus the stock ones. When you remove the center part you can see there's just a slight difference in the threads available and so what I prefer to do is just to even those up a little bit like that wind in on both threads at the same time and that way you have the same amount of thread on uh, both ends And just to finish it off, the sway bar link on the other side. Alright, it's next day. Um, I didn't get that much done yesterday and it's late today already because sometimes you just need motivation that you don't have. But anyway, uh, these are for uh, adjust coilovers. Uh, the reason why I want to adjust the coilovers, particularly in the back, it's just a little bit high, I like, like maybe 10 mil or so, so I just want to drop it down, just a little bit. So this doesn't have a true coilover, uh, you've got the adjustable shock there, but the, the still using a bucket, but it does have an adjuster on it. And these are actually a BC, so believe it or not, it's a little bit of... Just a small amount of effort, I can spin that off. Okay, so we've got uh, just 10 mil in between the uh, two coils. Now the uh, two coils, two fasting. This is, uh, the second part's gonna be the harder part because that's where all the weight is, but we'll uh, tap that around. Problem with doing coilovers, with particularly the supplied tools, they, they, they're not easy on your hands, to be honest. They, uh, Alrighty, job done on that one. Next, there's always something going on with the uh, drift car, but the, the next thing is, uh, well, it's reasonably obvious. Um, if you look at it, I've got a inner guard line and it's uh, kind of making its way in the world. Uh, tidy that up and uh, I'll see whether any of this can be uh, polished off just to make it maybe look a bit more pretty. There you go, what a difference. Oh, that's one side. Now I've got to play with the other side. Figure out 
What name's doing? Uh, uh, not too much over here. A little, little bit of this. All right. All zip tied together. Because zip tying together a drift car is how it's done. <sighs> All right. It's yet another day and it's been slow going. It might have something to do with shoulder injury. Yeah, it's been killing me to be honest, but press on. Mmm, that's so good. Um, so, what's next? I want to wire a switch to turn the thermal fans on permanently. Uh, logically a switch I can throw while drifting just to uh, uh, create and keep airflow all the time help cool the vehicle it's logically not difficult but everyone hates wiring so on camera I'll probably rush through this one in the Z on the battery side which will of course vary left right hand drive but um, it's right hand drive in Australia so the battery's on the left but regardless on the battery side and just tucked in behind the battery although it's it's under a, a huge cover uh, there is a relay and fuse panel the very top and very large relay that lives there actually runs or has the ability to switch on both thermal fans. Now while that relay will do so through the factory uh, system um, and logically we could try and trigger that relay ourselves but I don't want to run um, power back up the line so all I'm going to do is tap into the the two separate uh, circuits and close them with uh, external relays that I will then wire to the switch. Just by connecting the, the two left or right So I've uh, wired into the uh, terminal there, just behind the relay, zip tied it in, run the wires up and down to my own relays, trigger wire, which I'll run over to my drift switch, which under the battery cover, which once placed on, makes uh, another relatively in invisible mod. So. Uh, on my Z at least, I have uh, a little switch panel just here, a couple of switches, they're, they're essentially invisible, you wouldn't notice them. Turn on the ignition, and, uh, just to show that it definitely comes off with the uh, ignition out. So with that done, on to my next task. Um, I think we've got tyres and an alignment to deal with next. to get myself a passenger ride in an automatic this will be an experience i don't know whether it's good or a bad thing but hey look au falcon this this is full au falcon spec street car automatic
we are uh, in the car park. We drove here. That's why the street plates are on. It looks pretty tidy for uh, a drifter, I'll tell you now. But that's the point, try and keep it uh, fairly tidy for the street. But uh, we're here for an alignment, Bridgestone Select. We're gonna go walk in the office and uh, do some numbers and details, but uh, we'll uh, hopefully not be here for more than an hour or so. Job's done. We have a whole new alignment and um, it's going to be very different. So I'm talking to Adam here at Bridgestone Select, who is uh, Luke Fink's recommendation. And um, it's a proper drift alignment by someone who knows what they're doing, which is not me. And it's going to be very different, but hopefully really good. Um, but Adam's going to be at the track tomorrow for the big Saturday send off. Um, so if I have any issues, he might help me on track just to make minor adjustments. But anyway, we're off. That's today. That's done. We are prepared for Archfield's big send-off Saturday tomorrow. Um, hopefully I'll see you there. Anyway, that's all for me. See you, bye.